Yup, what's good, original crew, man? We're back. We have Drake has a women problem. You believe that to be true? Oh, um, um, yeah, I guess. Topic of conversation. I mean, topic of conversation. Yeah, I mean, it is a. It's a topic. Topic of conversation, but <laughs> yeah, I guess if yeah. Uh, I, I guess if you, I really sit and think and like analyze, like uh, you know what I'm saying, then probably yeah, I guess so. But hey, if y'all if y'all hear any like uh, lightning, thunder, rain, it's storming. It's storm. It just we didn't expect it to storm, but it starts storming um, out of nowhere. Uh, not necessarily out of it nowhere. No. Some people get notifications. Uh, <laughs> okay. Be flex. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Hey man, with that being said, before we get into it, make sure you check out the links in the description box. <laughs> down below. You already know where to go. If you want to first part, all you got to do is check out down below. Uh, go to the other channels, man. Show us some love and support. We appreciate it. But also, if you enjoyed today's visuals. Like it with a thumbs up. Man, but let's see what this is about, man. Um, but going in on Drake. Not going in, but go on in. Let's Look see. at it. Drake used to be thought of as hip-hop's ultimate ladies, man. With tracks like Best I Ever Had, Find Your Love, and others establishing him as a smooth-talking artist with a sensitive side, this reputation had him looking like the ideal man for a lot of women who were looking for someone that would understand what they go through day in and day out. Light skin Tennessees. I'm a Scotto, bro. Jokes. This is some shit Drake would like. <laughs> Why are you saying when I like Drake? Every black girl that went to college likes Drake. He just really gets us. <laughs> now, after Kendrick's recent attempts to destroy Drizzy's reputation once and for all with accusations about how he really treats women, it seems like he's gonna have to move a little differently in the future. But KDOT isn't the first person to put forth the idea that Drake's relationship with the opposite sex is a little more sinister than everyone initially thought. Because in reality, the Six God actually brought a lot of this on himself. My name is Luesta, and today we're discussing Drake and his problem with women. Thanks to Kendrick, the long-standing perception that he was a misogynist is really getting put under the microscope. And now, people are looking at practically every interaction he's ever had with a woman through a whole new lens. But to really pinpoint how Drake's relationship with women has mutated over the years, from the nice guy who collected Birkin bags for the woman he would end up with, to basically being labeled as a predator, we need to go back 10 years ago. Here, we see the first time that Hip Hop's nice guy was called out for his perceived creepiness. And let me just uh, let me uh kind of throw throw in some real fast. Uh, the the only problem I have with people doing this whole thing is you can be a fan in this situation, right? You can be say, "Hey, I'm a Drake die hard. Hey, I'm a Kendra die hard. Me, I, I'm playing right in the middle. Hey, neither one of them put money in my pocket. So hey." Psh. It is what it is. It's just two two good artists. Uh, that are good at what whatever they do. Mm -hmm. No, no. I know I'm you. Like, okay. What? The only problem I have is uh, seeing online how a lot of men are going over the top extra trying to defend this situation, like this part of the the whole beef. Mm -hmm. It ain't a hey, Drake was lyrical here and here here. It ain't. Like going at the it's the defense of Drake and his uh, allegations with women, young girls, the yeah. age thing. It's too many men that are going, and it's is it, it's weird how they how they're going about doing it. Mm -hmm. Now I've seen people who who say, "Hey man, I think certain this record was better than this record," and they go with the record why, and I'd be like, "Hey, I ain't got no problem with it." I, me personally, I think this this, and I think that. It it just it's just be weird when like the video I showed you earlier I sent you earlier mm -hmm. and that dude was trying to I'm like bro you trying too hard to justify a, certain a lot of times and I I can't I could be wrong you know it's just me you know observing I feel like a lot of people see themselves in certain people and it's not even that they're defending him 
it's that they're defending their self because they own the same stuff. Yeah. And so it it's crazy, but a lot of a lot of men. It's like it's like them saying I can't necessarily attack him because I'm doing. Because I'm I doing do it too. Same. So what I'm gonna do defend him? That's what they do. They they, or they the best thing you can do is a lot of. Well. They defend because oh, what's the saying? A hit dog collar? Yeah, that's what I thought you were going to say. I thought you were going to so, say. So, <laughs> yeah. Back then, the WNBA player and eventual six-time All-Star, Skylar Diggins, was just making a name for herself. Oh, and it appeared yeah. that a young jersey was obsessed. After he was seen rocking her jersey in photos, he was asked about her ahead of his upcoming hosting job at that year's ESPYs. I've never Forget met Skylar, that. but I'm sure it'll be extremely awkward if she does show up. She probably won't though. Her boyfriend will probably have her tied down to a chair that night. As if claiming that she would need to be physically restrained wasn't weird enough, the actual ceremony featured Drake performing some bizarre poetry about her on live television. I posted the photo because I appreciate her as a player, okay? In fact, I'd like to read a poem that I wrote about how much I respect her game, because I genuinely do. Can I dig in? Maybe a post-game rub down, circling your body like a vulture, multiple convulsions, you'll be shocked like Tulsa. Can I dig in? I don't consider myself a childish man. Would love to take you out sometime, maybe see you smile and dance. I'd also love to go from being a Skylar fan to you are cordially invited to the wedding of Aubrey Graham and Skylar Graham. Can I dig in? Cringeworthy as it was, it all led to Skylar eventually showing up on stage to play along with Drake's infatuation with her. And that's really where, where the poem stopped for me. Oh my God. Oh, wow. But for the audience, it brought out a whole new side to Drizzy that they probably rather they hadn't seen. After that, the issue went unnoticed for a while. Then his one-sided feud with Rihanna brought everything. Have you ever, did you not know about that? I didn't. Oh, for real? And if I did see it then. Do you know about Skylar? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, I, yeah. But if I did see it then... The way you took it wouldn't be the way you take it now. No, no, no. Not even that. I'm uh, just saying if I did see it, I don't really remember. Okay, I just uh, don't, you know, I don't remember a lot. Not, not <laughs> sadly, I, sadly, I don't remember a lot. My memory is just... But, um, yeah, so... I, feel I guess I did know. I feel, I feel like I, it, once I had seen, I would have kind of remembered a little bit. But I, I guess I didn't know. I remember all that everything to she life. Out this conflict made him look like a sore loser at best and a true narcissist at worst. Now, I already covered this in detail in a recent video about Drake's dark history with female celebrities, but in this video, I wanted to focus on some of Drake's relationships that aren't often discussed. But to jog your memory, we talked about how Drake has been actively dismantling his nice guy image in recent years. From taking shots at Megan Thee Stallion on Circle Loco, to dissing and unfollowing Ice Spice after flying her out, these incidents are just one side of the story with lines like she can have a grammy i still treat her ass like a nominee just need to know what that like so one time is fine with me and hey i'm a gentleman i'm generous i blow a half a million on you i'm a feminist it makes any attempt by drake to tap back into that ally persona seem inauthentic Going from nice for what to her loss in a matter of years, this makes Drake's attempts to speak on issues like anti-abortion laws on a track fall completely short with his audience when you consider how he generally perceives women. It's stuff like this that makes people believe that he's one of those guys who only care about reproductive rights if it affects him getting laid. For Drake, it seems like women only deserve praise when he needs a hit or when they conform to what he really wants in his personal life. Because while those who see Drake as a misogynist or a creep have gotten more reasons to think so lately, he's actually been making questionable remarks about women he feels have wronged him since his 2018 album Scorpion. Just look at what happened to the R&B star, Georgia Smith. For a brief moment, Georgia Smith and Drake were an item, but in classic oh. Drake fashion, he wasted little time in getting a number 11 tattooed on him, which was allegedly in honor of Georgia Smith's birthday. However, in the media, Georgia looked to downplay the whole thing. Emotional interaction was between Drake and Georgia. I'd be like, he's definitely texted her at 4 a.m. <laughs> saying, I need you, girl. <laughs> Has he never sent you that text no. at 4 a.m.? <laughs> oh, man. I've got, I've got Drake all wrong. Because he's not as emotional as everyone thinks. He's not. He's a tough guy, <laughs> clearly. But Drake was about to prove that he was even more in his feelings than people realized on the song Jaded. 
Suddenly, a man deep into his 30s was calling a 19 year old low down and dirty before boasting that he makes more money than her man. Then of course, there was the following lyrics where he said, We could have waited, I wasn't rushing differences in ages, you're old enough, but you're still a baby. And when now we go when you go like that digging into it, it's like damn that dude that dude kind of look weird. But I'm not I'm not one to like understand like what artists are going through in their everyday life, man. It's, my life is 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 in shambles its own its own self. So like it's already hard to like for real. We, we got it's a lot of everybody okay, got a yeah, lot of stuff okay. going on in their own life. They ain't got time to be not trying shambles, to keep up with it. But go ahead. I'm saying shambles, no, you got you got this going on, this going on, this going on, this going on. It's just a lot. Mm -hmm. You you know what I'm talking about. Life be life. Horribly sometimes, but I I don't I can't keep. Up I don't with know it. why. I, and I my apologies if I'm just like out of the loop. I ain't with know things. him and him and her had a. I guess and for me, I don't keep up with like people. Like, yeah. I, I just don't. I just don't keep up with people's lives and whatever, but especially, like, celebrities. Like, yeah. like if I see some, I see it, but I don't, like, know everything or who everyone has ever dated. I yeah. didn't even know that this was a thing. I didn't either. Like, mm, mm But I also, like, like he's, like, he's trying to kind of piggyback off what he said earlier. Um... Let me ask you this Go real ahead. quick, and I'm like, I, I, like, I would like for y'all to interact with us as well, like with, with some of these. Mm -hmm. Do you think Drake' career is, continues to be successful as long as women deem him being successful? Women, yeah, yes. Because I always, yes, I've yes, always yes, said yes. this, even yes. to even when I like back I in the day, our artists, especially a male artists. Is only like how you know if you're good or not if the females feel like feel like you are good. Like if the females ain't playing your music, the niggas ain't gonna play your music. Mm -hmm. Because if a female be like, "Oh, that nigga corny, turn it off." Men, men are pressured. You know what I'm saying? For they feel like females ain't rocking with you, they ain't gonna rock with you. Yeah, I, I, I guess to your question in a sense, but it's also kind of it's a weird a weird space because. With most of the people I've seen, I've been seeing defending him. Or women. Well, most of the people I've been seeing defending him and and his actions have been men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, but re, and what we said earlier is the reason why. Because yeah, a creep is always going to defend yeah, another so creep. So with, with him, it's kind of like... Yeah, yeah, I get I, what you're it's, saying. It's kind of weird. I, it's yeah. either... It's 50-50. Yeah. Like, I don't know with him. It's People dug deep. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Yeah, because from like before every all this stuff has happened, yeah, it's always been the women have been like the. Because I'll say this: How I knew Drake was gonna be successful? Women, women start quoting him. Mm -hmm. Women start play like he he he, in, in his early early. Yeah. I just wanna be. I just wanna be successful. He, <laughs> yeah. He he got one of the biggest like R and B artists mm -hmm. at that time. The women were head over heels with Trey yeah, Songs yeah. at that time. Yeah. And his early career, he was linking up with Trey Songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I get the, I always say this for an artist: if you can win over the women, you can win over the men. Yeah. Because what's gonna happen is women overplay songs more than men. Mm -hmm. The women gonna get in the car. They go, I hey, can't put on my favorite song. Mm -hmm. You do that all the time. Mm -hmm. They gonna be like, why when you go to the clubs and parties and stuff, the cute chicks they gonna always go up to the DJ and say, hey, can you put this on? The mm -hmm. DJ gonna play what the even cute the girl like. Even the concerts, like you see women dragging their boyfriends to certain they concerts do. and stuff like that that they, they probably do. wouldn't have went to if it wasn't for her. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So if yeah, you can and, win the, and that's why I said it's a weird like the women are the ones that are gonna be like as far as like. You being successful, putting money, mm -hmm. I guess, in your pockets, but also on the back end, it's like lately with him, it's been a lot of men like in support. But but, I, but what I'm saying is, if he doesn't like whatever track he put, and I feel like that's another reason why he has never put out like a hip hop track, mm. like hip hop album, yeah, where he's just rapping. I, I people gonna be like, what you mean? You just, yeah, I'm saying like he hasn't put out just straight rap, and he always had to have those melodic records, those records straight for the women, yeah. because he know if I don't put that out, he deep down he like I, I'm not catering to um my majority of my fan base. Yeah, I wasn't rushing differences in ages. You're old enough, but you're still a baby. 
And when people dug deeper into the lyrics, they didn't like what they saw. You have potential, I could have shaped it. You went oh, and it. We could have waited. Do y'all think he's do y'all think he wants to control her? <laughs> <laughs> Feels that way a little bit. I don't know bit. if you could tell just a, a little bit. I don't know if you could tell a girl you had potential and I wanted to shape it. No, you can. You could definitely tell a girl that. It's not gonna go over well. I'm convinced that this is about Georgia Smith. No, I, no, I, clearly, I, I got, I, clearly, we got that. Y'all don't judge him for getting a 20 year old name or number tattooed on him. Come on, man, with this casual bullshit you <laughs> niggas is doing. I didn't know Listen to the f song and tell me that the <laughs> shit that he's saying about a 21 year old girl is not flagrant, my I, nigga. I didn't know that that was. The I think that record was definitely about George Smith. Okay, well, I, I'm glad and, you related. And I think it's creepy, and but y'all think it's fine, so. But now, in the wake of Kendrick's claims that he's a certified well, and that he likes them young, these lyrics, as well as some of his past actions, have only incriminated him further in those who support KDOT's narrative. Drake is very obviously a I mean, he told on himself and jaded with the Georgia Smith shit. There's nothing to dispute there. While Georgia wasn't a minor when they met, it was a little close for comfort for some people. Because... And that's go, there goes the the part where a lot of people don't deem him as that. They, they're like, man, they're legal. Like, but like I always say, what's the difference in mindset between a 17 year old and an 18 or a 19 year old? It's nothing but a couple of years. The mindset is typically very much so the same. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, cause just to bring this situation up, like even with the job Moran situation, when they were like, oh, y'all got into it with a 17-year-old. Mm. But y'all wanted to get that same hoopla that y'all had got into it with an 18-year-old. Yeah. Because y'all, y'all uh, in, in America, we deem an a 18-year-old as an adult. Yeah. What's the difference in the mindset like of a 17, 17 and an 18? Yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Bro, Nothing they, it's, it's just overnight. a birthday. You know, and then also with a lot of people, because, like, I've witness stuff like firsthand yeah, 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 yeah. with the like when it comes to a lot of men that be creeps yeah like they will it, it just be just the bear just the barely like you have to be all just, you gotta be is just enough you what, know uh, as what, far as ain't that's what r kelly said what all you gotta be is a when he was on the stage and said um, all you gotta do is be 18 and basically yeah like they, i like, don't see nothing. they will they will literally wait for you to turn, turn 18. legal. Like, I, I just turned 18 yesterday. Ain't that what happened with Bab? Like, I, I ain't literally. Gonna, I don't know. But that's what happened to her. Some, some people slid. They, they were, oh, I it, thought you was 18. Bro, y'all been watching her since she was 14, 15. I see nothing like, wrong with that. Oh, are they 18? He waited since you. But the fact that you've been waiting, that's weird. The fact that you've been looking, this, you've been scoping, you've been like, that's not weird to y'all, but whatever. While Georgia wasn't a minor when they met, it was a little close for comfort for some people. Because rather than being an isolated incident, it's part of a larger pattern of behavior where Drake fights with age-appropriate ladies publicly while courting strange bonds to girls that are, wink wink, not 18 yet. So much so that even before KDOT called him a PDF file, some people weren't shook in the slightest that this sentiment was out there. But for a long time now, rumors have swirled about Drake and his proximity to young girls. Just look at comedian Shane Gillis basically doing KDOT's job for him back in the day. I want to be on the record. Drake, sure. Drake's going to be, he's on that R. Kelly tip. Do you think so? Drizzy Drake likes him young. What? He does. That's somewhat known already, but it, this is one of those things where I want to, you know, you got to say something. Like, remember Louie, that whole thing? Yeah. And like, we knew about that. Yeah. And we were just like, I don't know. Drake, Drizzy Drake's into the young ones. He's gonna get got in the next five years. Crazily, he made those comments five years prior to the fallout we're all seeing now. But rather than having a crystal ball, Shane's prediction was the product of evidence that was out there in front of our eyes at the time. First up, there was Haley Bieber, then known as Haley Baldwin. Back in 2019, it was revealed that the then 29 year old rapper was making a play for her heart. Drake has been pursuing Haley, sources told US Weekly. He has been showering her with gifts. He's really trying hard. At the time, she was allegedly still hung up on her eventual husband, Justin Bieber, who Drake counts as a friend, but that's not the only reason why things seemed inherently weird. Because in reality, Drizzy has been in Haley's world long before she was above the age of consent. Drake knew Haley when she was 14, and he has always been a good friend to her. Mm. In 2016, Haley was just 19 and Drake was 29. Now, if this was an isolated incident, Drake could maybe get some slack. 
But from friendships with girls like Millie Bobby Brown, who was only 13 when she first started developing a quote-unquote friendship with Drake, to linking up with Billie Eilish, or more notably, Bella Harris, as soon as she turned 18, there's been a lot of questionable conduct. We just texted each other the other day and he was like, I miss you so much. I was like, I miss you more. Drake is like the nicest dude I've ever spoken to. I mean, I've only like texted him, but so nice. Like. And don't even get me started on this clip where he brought a girl on stage and danced with her. Then this happened. Let me ask you this real quick. I'm, I, I don't want to linger around it too long. Do you think it's too it's, it's weird for, for a guy to try to be too nice? Like overly nice. There's, oh, he's he's just so nice. But we like they always say nice guys finish last. There's yeah, you can be a nice guy, but it's 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 a difference between being a nice guy but being overly nice. I, uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like um, for me and being a a, a woman, I'm one, a I'm, that's girl, why I'm asking at, you. At one point, you really have to. Like be able to decipher, de decipher and, and discern who's doing things just for some type of benefit. Like, cause you, cause are you only being nice to all the women because you're trying to get something out of it? Because if you are a nice person, like you just, just like, genuinely and then why, nice. it's, my thing is, and you just, it's just all like the texting and the women and the, you know, I've never talked to him on the phone or in person, just texting. What you texting me for? Like what? And being what do overly, you really have to talk about and be overly nice, overly friendly. Yeah, How about the friendly. Yeah. Friendly. Flip, where he brought a girl on stage and danced with her. Then this happened. Obviously, I can't show the full clip, but later he k i s s e s s her not once, not twice, but four times. Now, these oh, stories know. are pretty well known, know but unfortunately, they're just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Drake taking a particular interest in young women. Here, we have the story of Lil Cece, who basically snitched on Drake without realizing it. During an episode of No Jumper, the Money in the Grave producer revealed how she first got in touch with Drake, and the answer probably isn't what you're expecting. In fact, it's far more alarming. The Drake thing. Mm -hmm. You met him, well, when did you first meet him? So, so. I played basketball, right? So he right. really was a fan of one of, or not a fan, supported one of my teammates um, at the time. And because and this is when you're her, in high school? Yeah, in okay. high school. So he was a fan of women's basketball, high school basketball. I was her teammate. So he followed me because of her. And I was like, oh shit, bitch, you got Drake to follow me. Like, what the hell? Like, that's so crazy. <laughs> oh so my God. he followed me and I just, went, I lost it. I'm like, I have to meet Drake. Like, I love Drake. Because of clips like this, they'd seen enough long before they'd even heard anything K.Dot had to say. At this point, the clock is just ticking for when the documentary comes out. Like that wasn't dark enough, we then have his alleged ties to Aya Tanjali, an IG influencer with over 1 million followers, including Drake's father Dennis. Aya just turned 17 recently and was already welcomed into the world of hip hop when she was in Ice Spice's video for Delhi. Now, during a recent live stream with Young Dabo, she made a comment that she looked like she wanted to instantly take back. It's wow. I'm gonna also say this because okay. it's it's getting weird, but it's 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 a it's a epidemic of grown men that, that's of social some type of social status, whether yeah. there's streamers, uh, gamers, creators, rappers, what. Their infatuation with underage girls, mm -hmm. and it's being put on blast. But there's not it, right now. It's 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 too much of it, and it's I like, don't know why it's. A, it's like people get in interviews or they talk about it. No, nah, I'm talking about no. It's clips, and okay. they are they are nine interviews. I'm saying they're putting it out there themselves. Who put it up? Oh, the, oh, the people. But, well, okay. You don't never <laughs> But I was just going down like the line of things of everywhere that you see things at and people just sweep things under the rug. That was uh, that was my point. I was going down, but yeah. Be honest, what do you think about the Drake allegations? Yes, speak on them. Would you let That's, Drake um, Would you let Drake like you? Bro, she's seventeen. Why um, are we even having this that, conversation? She's a child. That'll be something I can't confess. I mean, I confess, something I can't talk about. 
because dad will be in the court. The court? Drake! What? You're a okay. victim? No, of course not. Wait, so what you said about the, why you said uh, it'll be in the court? Because that'll be something. Oh, you can't speak about it right now? That I can't speak about, yeah. Between those two tales, some people. He said he just, she just turned 17. 17. Why the fuck she in a music video with 24 year old uh, Ice Spice? And Ice Spice videos, she shake your ass. Oh, that's all she do. Why are the fucking parents say? I, I was just about to say that. I'd be having the questions about a lot of a lot of things. Um, a lot of these girls. But what the who am I? Like a lot of these parents what? don't care either. They like, oh, Drake here you up. Oh, my my child on. That's all they care about. It's it's sick on so many levels. People already have Drake heading to. Oh, this. What are you trying to say? Mm -mm. My bad. My bad. Say. I wasn't trying to say anything. Oh. Speak about yeah. Between those two tales, some people already have Drake heading to cell block one. But although Drake has never come out to confirm nor deny these stories, others have hoped that the girl who'd been seen DMing a grown man during their adolescence would wake up to the fact that there was something weird about that. I'm waiting for Millie Bobby Brown to grow up and realize how creepy her friendship with him actually was. Now, it should be noted that both defended him initially when the news of their friendship broke, claiming that there was nothing weird going on. But since then, the pair have been conspicuously quiet. In Billy's case, he let Yachty get a line about Billie Eilish's on another late night from For All The Dogs. While at the height of the beef with K-Dot, Drake brought Millie into the conversation when Kendrick didn't, spitting, Only f with Whitney's, not Millie Bobby Browns. I never looked twice at no teenager. Combined with the line, If I was f***ing I promise I'd have been arrested. I'm way too famous for the shit you just suggested. It can't help but to bring to mind Kendrick's own claim from his song Euphoria that the famous actor we once knew is looking paranoid and is now spiraling. In the midst of their alleged friend taking so much heat over their ties to him, Millie hasn't responded to the scenario. Meanwhile, Kelly's own Billie Eilish has been spotted actively getting down to not like us after her recent album listening party in a way that would suggest any friendship she had with Drake is long gone. While their sudden refusal to comment could be seen as a sign that they simply woke up to what was going on, it would also be no surprise if they had simply found that any bond they had with Drizzy eventually turned toxic. As when it comes to the man who still claimed that he only loves his bed and his mom at the age of 31, it seems like when it comes to women, loyalty to the man who helped him become a star or respecting their wishes isn't even a priority for him. Cause when it comes to women in his life or even those he's encountered in his professional life, there are a few times where you could argue that Drake acted with the woman's best interests in mind like his songs would suggest. Even back when he first learned that Sophie Brousseau was pregnant with his kid, text exchanges proved he accused her of being a gold digger and asked her to get an abortion. Around the same time, he'd further slander her character via his lawyer by suggesting she was doing it for a green card. Now, we all know that Kid's existence came to light by now, but that's not the point at the moment. What's more important is that he showed a complete disregard for the young woman and her wishes, or even protecting her character. This behavior lends support to those who have labeled him a misogynist for years. But it's really no surprise that he would do something like that to someone he only briefly met when he even willfully betrayed his mentor. On his hit song Not Like Us, Kendrick referenced a little known story in hip hop about Drake having an affair with Tunji's girlfriend while he was incarcerated. Fuck no Wayne girl while he was in jail, that's conniving. Then get his face tatted like a bitch apologizing. Now, this is obviously a pretty shocking thing to wrap your head around because Drake is literally here today because of Weezy's mentorship. And right back at the beginning of that relationship, he told him to never lose who he was. You know, he's always just like, man, please be yourself. Please don't ever try and be me or anybody else. Don't ever go get tattoos. You don't have to do, you don't have to dress any different, you know, because, um, I, like from the day Wayne met me to now, I didn't, I haven't changed anything about myself. He met me, 
and he really liked the kid that he met. Um, and he was like, don't stop smiling either. Don't try and get mean or aggressive. He's like, just be you, man. Just be you and rap about life and women and family. After all that Wayne did for him, Drake didn't even think twice about hooking up with his Young Money label boss's girl while he was literally behind bars. Initially, Weezy tried to downplay it when the story first got out there. There's a part in the book where you say that he came in and told you that he had smashed one of your girls. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, I wasn't worried about that. I mean, <laughs> you know, I was just, you know, that's just how life go when you locked up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. But she's done, you moved on. Life is good. Life is good. Will you rap about that? Do you think it'll end up on a, a song maybe you two might, you know? No, no. No. She still be texting me and stuff, you know. They stop texting me too. For real. Because it's still her. But even though Weezy tried to stay dignified about the whole thing and defend A hoe gonna be a hoe. Mama always said a hoe gonna be a hoe. She staying when she walk in the room. I, I was like, <laughs> I wonder, you know, I know people, you know, it seemed like, you know, he kind of downplayed like, yo, it was nothing, you know, that's yeah, what yeah, happened, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But it's still kind of like that underline and like, damn, I probably thought this was gonna be my, you know, like, don't know your situation. But for you to like, I know you probably like, hey, stop texting me, but block her. <laughs> like true. blocker blocker on everything true. you like really don't want any dealings with yeah. you you know what i'm saying but. true true that and drake his autobiography would reveal how much it truly hurt him as a man he wrote i woke up still feeling fucked up about the fucked up day that i had hell is what it was i'm used to arguing with my girl on a daily basis but finding out that she fucked drake was the absolute worst thing i could have found out to say that the public were let down to realize that kendrick was really telling the truth here was an understatement the fact he could do that to a man who put him on is pathetic. It's like he tries not to be a good person. Friends with someone convicted of f***ing, yup. And he threw him a party too. Sampled R. Kelly after the documentary and his behavior was undeniable, yup. Worked with Chris Brown after the Rihanna incident. It's like he doesn't view women as people. Willing to forfeit his loyalty to Wheezy when temptation struck. This is even more shocking when you think about who Drake decides to stick by. Recently described as some kind of predator haven, Drake's OVO crew has some questionable characters in it that really aren't helping his case when it comes to creating the perception that he even partially cares about women. Or as Kendrick put it, And Baca got a weird case, why is he around? Certified lover boy, certified the man he's referring to here is Baca Not Nice, an OVO artist and Drake's bodyguard. Back in 2014, he was arrested for allegedly forcing a 20... I ain't gonna hold you. I, I I hate when we be throwing a title, a rapper on people. Just because somebody make a record, we be like, well, not we, y'all. Be like, uh, because honestly, man, it's just a pay, pay most on the team. Mm -hmm. So I had to put him as an uh, artist on the label. And it's pay, basically paying for protection, it sound like. You know what I'm saying? But like, don't get it twisted. A lot of, a lot of them do that. You know what I'm saying? You got to have an entourage. And you got to put them on something to make make money look legal. Mm -hmm. But mm. and Drake's bodyguard back in 2014, he was arrested for allegedly forcing a 22 year old woman into doing the thing that rhymes with constitution. He then pleaded guilty to assaulting the woman and failing to comply with conditions for unrelated firearm charges. Although the charges against him were dropped because the woman refused to testify, it wasn't a great look for Drake. Especially when he celebrated when he was released as if it were the end of some great injustice. Something's in the air today. He wrote in a conspicuously deleted Instagram post, A lot of great things happening at once, but this one means the most. Been waiting for 11 months. Baka finally home. He also rapped, I might declare it a holiday as soon as Baka get back on his song Know Yourself from 2016. To date, Baka remains a loyal member in Drake's camp, although he hasn't even released music since 2019. But when it comes to why Drizzy likes to keep him around, an interview he conducted last year seems to have clarified that. Because despite being 45, Baka seems to want to keep living the same Playboy lifestyles, Drake. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, like even right now, like, man, you gotta understand, like, I'm a little famous, so like, you know. You're being humble females, with that. Yeah, yeah, being humble. You're being humble with that. <laughs> females, females, you know, of when course. you meet a female and you, you like each other, sometimes, Yo, I'll be honest with you. I just know that at this moment in my life, I cannot be in a like relationship. Yeah, okay. it's not fair to 
to, to, to the, the woman. To the yeah. woman. It's not yeah. gonna be fair to her. I'm traveling. I'm going all over the place. You know, there's a lot of women around me. Mm. I don't want to hurt nobody like yeah. deliberately. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. built like that. I'm not that type of guy. Of you know what I'm saying? So. I'm not looking for no relationship right now. Mm. Yeah. And I and I just try to be honest with them and let them know that too. Like Do you think it, it would ever be something in the future that you think about? For sure. Like yeah. when I'm not doing music and uh -huh. stuff like that, I, I know it's possible. But it's it's hard to do yeah, it when it's you're easier said than done. Yeah. You know Facts. what I mean? The temptations are with Baka behaving just the same as Drake at his age, he's got an enabler on his side who still wants to run around chasing women when his peers like J. Cole and Kendrick are settling down. But as long as he has people in his circle like that, he can keep treating women the way he always has. No. Yes. There's people with more reputation than me. No way. Not a lot. Drake is close. <laughs> but you and Drake are friends. Man. So. Splash Bros. <laughs> <laughs> Slime Squad. Shout out to Drizzy. You know, he gave me the Snipe Squad thing, right? The 10, ten rules. No, ten, oh, 10 Snipe Commandments. Thou shall not, thou shall not snipe a bro's ting. Mm -hmm. Thou shall never pillow talk or discuss. But ain't that's that what, number one, but ain't that what you did? <laughs> but ain't that's what you did? And ain't that's what future, you and future had, uh, I guess, the falling out that's about. That's crazy. Y'all basically messing around with the same chick and one of y'all, I don't know which one well, is getting more sensitive. I can take yours, but you, you can't, can't take, take mine. mine. Yeah. So, that's what it feel like. That's what it sounds like. But did like. Future say that? I have. You and I'm talking about on the album. You, I say you and know before mm. me. Mm. Yeah. Business with a ting. <laughs> on any import from the United States, Canada, or Europe, or any other region, thou shalt practice a maximum three day export rule to avoid frustration. What does that mean? What does that, that, that mean if you export anybody, if you fly anybody in, Give them three days so you can avoid frustration. Keep them for three days. For three days, max. And the way that French is... I don't even like how that's worded. That sounds like... Uh, Y'all, yeah, I'm so confused. That sounds like... Uh, it's trafficking. It sounds like trafficking to me. Uh, you gotta be... It's a, You gotta understand way with words, man. And on some legality, it sounds like trafficking. But on some legality, it's some, it's some, it's some good wordplay. I don't know, man. Give him three days. Then give him three days so you can avoid frustration. Give him three Europe, days. America, America, Canada. And the way that French is talking, it's clear that Drake isn't the one to treat the girls that he encounters with much respect. Once again, these actions have fed right into the narrative Kendrick laid out on tracks like Euphoria that to Drake, women are disposable. And the other part where he says, uh, you know, I don't even really think you like women. That's not just mm. him saying... I don't think he's saying, yo, Drake, like you gay. Yeah, yeah. He's saying, like, you one of those guys, you like vagina, but you don't really like women. Right. There's a, there's a difference. There's guys mm -hmm. that like vagina, but they don't really have the respect for women that they should. And, you know, people always say Drake is a misogynist and things mm -hmm. of that nature. Right. I think Kendrick um just approached it from a very grown perspective. Right. And I think that Drake is going to have to dig a little deeper. While Kendrick claiming that Drake doesn't like women would be one thing if there was no evidence, you only need to look at the general disdain or lack of care he can treat them with to wonder if maybe he has a point. Because when a woman has challenged him or is ever seen as having wronged the Six God in any way, Drake won't think twice about publicly dissing them. This happened most recently to the jazz artist Esperanza Spalding. On the track away from home from For All The Dogs, Drake's bit, Esperanza Spalding was getting all the praises. I'm trying to keep it humble. I'm trying to keep it gracious. Who gives a fuck if Michelle Obama puts you on her playlist? Then we never hear from you again like you was taken. Now, in case you're wondering, the only wrong she could have possibly committed against Drake is that she beat him to win Best New Artist at the 2011 Grammy Awards. And yes, that was 12 years prior to the track's release. And instead of respecting an innovative talent like Esperanza, Drake only seems to prop up the woman he feels he can gain from. Here, we have his so-called rightful wife, Sexy Red. What's going on with you, Drake? Y'all got a record coming? We be fucking. I'm just playing. That's my peoples. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Also, Drake knows Drake know certain people to play with. Mm -hmm. let, let be real. If you got any street ties behind you, Drake ain't finna cross through. Like real street ties, you know what I'm saying? The only, like he tried he tried it with Kendrick, but like Kendrick like, literally is the good kid. Like he's a good kid from the Mad City. Mm. Like Kendrick, like low key deep. I have I'm good at heart. Yeah, but I just come from a fucked up city. Sexy Red from St. Louis. Mm -hmm. The motherfucker get busy. Mm -hmm. Drake like I ain't finna. I can't I can't mess that up. 
Because if I messed it up, I don't know who she might got behind her. You know what I'm saying? In a crazy ass city where they don't give a, You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the reason why he 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 moved careful even with, with his Memphis connection. It ain't because Drake, uh, his family from, from Memphis. It, like, let's be real. How much, like... Drake, it's politics behind Drake when it when it comes down to a certain thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I also feel with that as well that it all boils down to it as well. What? I agree with you, but just monetary as well. Yeah. Like, she, it, it's for for me looking at it. Like, I I see where you coming from as well, and I do agree. But I feel like it's just also monetary. Who who got who? I'm gonna keep whoever around. It got a buzz. The, the oh yeah, like, he, we've been said that before. Yeah, like, like he attached himself to new up and coming artists for him to stay relevant as well. Yeah, so whatever I got to do to make sure that I'm in that spotlight as well, continue to be. People go do it. They're gonna they're gonna play the long game. And no disrespect, like there's other artists who have came and gone that have done the same thing. Yeah. So it's no it's no shade on, to him. He's not just, the only one that has done that. No, but at hand we're talking about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this this been a game that's been. Play going on forever. Yeah. So, yeah. And even like, because like, I've always said this, Drake attached himself to the whatever sound he feels as though is going to be the next wave. Mm -hmm. And he tries to be the first artist to do it so then he, then he can hold that why well, I help you cross over type thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, even like with Afrobeats before, like Drake really attached himself to like Kid and some of those. Mm -hmm. Like, how much play, like for real, for real, we can be honest, that people was like really playing Afrobeats music around in a general vicinity. Yeah. Not the people that Africans and not like that. I'm saying like the average American. How many, you still gonna do it? How many uh, was really playing it? You know what I'm saying? Or even trying to tap into that market. Like um, Central C, like even him linking up with Central C, people are looking at that kind of sideways like, Yo, we already knew who Central C was if yeah. you didn't listen to any UK rap, but it's like, what lane, like, what is the reason for you to do that? You know? Yeah. Even like with Popcorn and all that, like, Drake, he's a strategist, though. He's very st strategical with, but he's also very jealous as well. Cause I think he got an issue who was, uh, with Bad Bunny at one point. I thought they had like a little conflict. Mm -hmm. Because Bad Bunny was becoming like the number one artist, mm -hmm. and so he was. It was a, a hidden competition between, with that. So, yeah. mm. we be fucking. I'm just playing. That's my peoples. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we got, a, we got a song coming out. Do y'all really? I mean, supposed to be, but I did some little shit on his song. He sent me a, a beat, and I had rap for him or whatever. He was fucking with it, so we gonna see if he if he dropped that bitch. I love that. Is it gonna be named after you? I know Drake always does a record after women. I don't know. He he just spoke me. I don't know what he gonna do. He gonna pop out with some crazy shit. I know that. From gifting her a Cartier watch to literally using footage of her giving birth in the video to Rich Baby Daddy, Drake's reputation with women is now so bad that it's easier to believe that he's exploiting her or has a vested interest than that he does anything for someone of the opposite sex for any other reason. Quick, real quick, real quick. You said this paid on somebody's deal. Is this confirmed? Oh, this is just some inside shit that you're saying. Oh, you think he just likes being around sexy red that much? Yeah, so this is, is this speculation or think, this, no? Y'all think, no. think he no. just is? I, I'm with you 100 like, percent with there. 100. You got to teach me. I don't know, nigga. I can name it's some more. I can name it's some more, more people. Hey, and this is what I Yo, know, this saying. is what I don't understand about you. Drake stands, right? Coupled with his actions and Kendrick Lamar's recent expose, which has people second guessing everything they've ever seen or heard from Drake, there's likely women out there who feel that Future is less toxic than Drake and with good cause. From dissing Pusha's fiance on Duppy Freestyle to taking aim at Kendrick's baby mama and high school sweetheart during their battle, Drake always uses the ability to love a woman as an insult. In here, as Dot said on Meet the Grams, we have the genesis of Drake's behavior towards women, his father. It is difficult when your father is of poor character. Lots of work to be done, like father, like son. A man who walked out on Drake in his youth, Dennis Graham has continued to live a playboy life long after it could be seen as respectable. And with stories like this and footage doing rounds of him grinding on young women, he may not have been a terrible role for Drake in terms of how to treat women, but he may be one of the predators on the OVO payroll as well. So we were really only there for like, maybe 20 minutes. <laughs>
while we're there, he's just being super like handsy and weird. Um, he said some like really strange comments, which that's kind of what started leading us to be like, okay, this guy's <laughs> odd. Um, and like clearly Drake's not coming. So like, we feel like we saw what we needed to see and we're ready to go. One weird thing is there were photos of Drake everywhere. Like his entire wall is just like memorabilia of Jake, Jake, Drake, um, which I thought. Is Drake his only child? Good question. I'm wondering, does Drake has any any siblings or anything that from his dad? From but honestly, shit, honestly, his dad from Memphis. I'm I'm surprised me. Mm. Man, make it easy money, pipping holes in style, man. But hey, if you know, you know. It's just like memorabilia of Jake, Jake, Drake, um, which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, basically just like a weird, creepy old dude with his weird, creepy old butler. Um, so we, after 20 minutes, are like, let's go. This is weird. There's like also not enough of us here for us to feel like super comfy. Um, so we tried to call an Uber, but he lives like way up in the Hollywood Hills and there was like a security guard at the beginning of the neighborhood. And they're like, oh, the security guard won't let us in. He's like, no joke, like a mile and a half up this road. And we're like, what the fuck? So we literally... <laughs> had to walk in the pitch black to get to our Uber because the security guard wouldn't be like letting our Uber in. Next time we went to LA, which was like only the second time we were out, saw Dennis again. So I think this is just kind of like his thing. And we were talking to someone about it and they're like, oh yeah, no, you never go to a party at Dennis's house. So I think it's just kind of like an LA thing that we were just not aware of. From Kendrick claiming that Drake's home, the embassy, was about to get raided, to these claims about his father, it seems that this behavior might not just be widespread in OVO, but passed down generationally. But what's arguably an even bigger problem here is that even if Drake is one day vindicated and none of this is even true, there's still a lot of lasting damage here. And not just to Drake, but to every woman who's been involved or felt the wrath of Drake when he feels like he's been wrong. Whatever happens next in Drake's career, one thing that can't be denied is that Kendrick's diss tracks were the final nail in the coffin of Drizzy's ladies man image being tarnished. Instead, a new lens will be applied to pretty much everything he says. I don't think Drake could move like how he used to move anymore. I think anytime he's with a woman who even if she's freshly 21, it's going to be looked as odd and he's probably gonna have to keep his affairs with women either much more secretive or not be pictured with the chick who just graduated college anymore. But he don't even be talking about this as a subject because we that shit weird as hell, bro. Is it not? Uh yeah, I, I got you. Like, because they're now planting and putting this jacket on him. It, you know, they usually do if you're not a foul, you're Left unable to make tracks like Teenage Fever anymore without social media going into a frenzy, Drake is now under more scrutiny than ever before in his Ooh. life. And perhaps the weirdest thing of all is that his own subreddit saw it coming years ago based on how he was moving. The boy is cold. Someone said Drake only collaborates with women he has a romantic interest in, and I think they may have a point. He's gonna get me too soon. It's definitely coming because this is a fucked up power balance. In the wake of everything that's happened, every grain of footage of Drake is being poured over and the connections are being made. All right, you know, this could literally just be a friendly photo, okay? So let's see. Millie posted this photo a week later crediting Drake for protecting the Kroto. Drake, okay. Two months later, during the Golden Globes at their party, Millie posed for photos. Millie captured a post with Drake. Blessed to have my security be my plus one at a Netflix party. Okay, I mean, I mean, so far they they could just be friends, but being friends with hero is really bad, really fucking bad. You know what this? Cause how old was Millie at the time? Fourteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. 14. And Drake was 14. in his thirties, right? That's like me hanging out with your niece all the time. Well, she, your niece is even older than that. But I'm just saying, when your niece was 14, me hanging up, people would be like, what the fuck, he always around? You get what I'm saying? Right. And I would, like, the age gap still wouldn't even be as much as the age gap was for them. 
So people would be like, why is he always around? Why are you always texting? Why are you all? Why? Why this? Why? Why, why she, would every? She why gotta she have all these photos. Why? Why y'all got these photos? Why y'all call each other friends? And y'all always? Oh, that's that's weird. Like, that's that weird. That would be weird, right? So how can you? You know what I'm saying? And for people to just be like, oh, you try know. to soup and, it and, like I, and like I say, it's like when people are in this, um, in the same industry, um. You know, he's in the music, she's, you know, movies, whatever, but they still in this, like, you know, yeah, th- this celebrity, you know, mm-hmm. status and stuff. I don't know w- what it is, but people just always, like, turn a blind eye, turn a blind eye, like, oh, it's innocent, it's Drake, it's, it's, like, it's Drake. Uh, my bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, like it's the, it's the soldier. Like, I don't know why people think that things are just like innocent. Like at the end of the day, if it's weird in any regular person like myself, life, if I see something like that, it's weird in that aspect. Like it's weird. Period. Like my mama wouldn't, uh, wouldn't dare allow me to be hanging out with no 29, 30 year old calling them my friend, texting them all the time. But like, let's be real. Let me let me say that piggyback off that real quick. Or my daddy, we'll, or my brother. Then we'll finish it. But also in Hollywood, we have seen several uh, several times at the time that even parents got weird hitting the gen- Ex- agendas. Right, and that's crazy. Whether whether it be to set to set up the artist, and if you want to say it like in Michael Jackson case, bro, why are y'all letting y'all seven eight year old? Child constantly go over to a grown man house spending nights, but that didn't sit. That just don't sit right. Mm-hmm. Uh, been plenty of cases where parents have set their own kids up for a payday, or set their kids up for them to be friend the celebrity so they can kind of get, try to reach We've some heard type so of benefit. So many weird, sick, disturbing stories, and that comes out eventually. It's crazy. Yeah, that comes out eventually. Even in the R. Kelly situation with the fourteen-year-old child, when then when you come find out how like how how back. how connected her family really is, where her dad is R. Kelly's guitar artist, so and then her her auntie is one of R. Kelly's artist background singers, and then her brother now is in the industry as well, and it's like. And regardless of the fact that even if it's anything, like. Like, if it's nothing like, um... If it's just platonic. Yeah, yeah. Because I wanted yeah. to say, like... If You're, it's trying, like to, you're trying to say... Yeah, I'm trying to think but of, just, like... Just but simple. Yeah, even simple. if it's, in, in a sense, like that, it'd be like, well, he's never, like, you know, done... You yeah, know, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. It's still, still. weird, yeah. Like, why are we talking and texting... A minor. A, a minor and calling them... When we old as hell. And, and, like... Bro, you got, you, got, you got so many like, other people that can be your... Let's stop with the excuses. Yeah. But being friends with a hero is really bad. Really fucking bad. Still. 13? Oh my gosh. In this? I thought she turned 15. 13. According to reporter Drake, 31 and Millie. <laughs> Damn! They reversed the fucking age! That's basically. 31, 8, I mean 31, 13. She, th- she was 13. She spent the entire night together at the party. <laughs> Yo, they flipped their fucking numbers. But what remains to be seen is what impact this has made on how the consumers beyond the hip hop world take the news. Because while rap has been good to Drizzy, the pop fan base has been ever better to him. And the cornerstone of that audience is, you guessed it, woman. With their support, Drake still has a chance to carry on as normal, even with everything that's just been discussed. But without it, this might be the beginning of a very ungrateful fall off that'll leave him cursing KDOT for the rest of his life. Because maybe without tracks like Euphoria, Meet the Grams, and Not Like Us, he could have gotten away with it for years, if not for decades to come. And that's what I was kind of hinted to in the beginning. Like, Drake's career has always been formulated around women. women. And his career has always been thriving because of women. If if you lose now, like like uh, like, don't get it twisted. It's a lot of weird men who's who's heavily yeah, he, kind of like a follower behind him because they like, hey, she Drake can do what I can do with type. And and my thing is like, you can you can whoever 
you support. Yeah. You could support somebody for like, you know, the music or whatever they put out, like, you know. But when you start defending their character and the way actions you go about and the way you go about it doing things when stuff comes out or situations like something like this, when you start defending that, I'm looking at you sideways. Yeah. Like <laughs> But a lot of a like lot of a lot of them who have defended and have have also been those who have allegations on them as well. Right. So. Which I, yeah. It's a lot of them yeah. like that. But, but um, I, and I'm also just talking for anyone who comes in yeah, yeah, yeah. to this, <laughs> this video or into the conversation. Like, it, it just, I'm going to look at you sideways as well. Like, we, you can support somebody in their music all day. Like, you know, you can't mm -hmm. take away somebody being a good rapper or a good artist or whatever the case may be. But when it boils down to stuff like this, that's a whole nother, that's mm -hmm. a whole nother situation. But yeah. Hey man, y'all spend most up in the comments, man. I think we said a lot of uh, covered, a lot was covered. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of still hasn't been exposed. There's still a lot of information that's still out there that can be exposed. So, y'all let us know y'all thoughts and opinions about it for us in the comment section down below. But until next time, y'all know how it go, man. I do go by the name DJ Nikita. This is we are we are. No time to kick it, gotta stack a flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my promise. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my promise.